okay so your let's do one theorem okay the statement of this theorem is a radian is a constant angle or angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc whose length is equal to the radius of the circle is always a constant so for this theorem let us draw one circle over here okay for this circle let's consider this as the center point okay and your this op is nothing but the radius of this circle then this is oq again this is a radius correct and this or is again a radius okay so now this op is a radius this arc qp okay see you why i am considering this arc equals to r okay see you the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc so this angle that is which angle angle poq okay at the center of a circle angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc whose length is equal to the radius of the circle now so this arc is equals to r okay which is always a constant now you let's begin with the proof okay see you let o be the we have to begin with the word let because we are considering the center point as o so let o be the center and r be the radius of the circle okay we have taken the point p q r on this circle correct so we'll write your k t points p q and r on the circle such that such that this arc which arc i'm talking about pq the arc pq is equals to r and angle p o r is equals to 90 degree as you all can see this angle p o r is of 90 degree okay so the length of the arc that is this pq which is of measure r okay i'm putting this in a box and the angle that is this right angle por is of 90 degrees so i'm putting these two things in a bracket by definition of radian okay angle poq this angle p o q okay i'm talking about this angle angle p o q which is equals to 1 degree okay by the definition of radian therefore r we are talking about the r p r this the r this p r is equals to 
one fourth of the circumference of the circle. So we all know this arc, which is P R. This arc is one fourth of this circle. Correct. So which is equals to one fourth into the circumference of a circle. Formula is two pi r. Okay. From here, by evaluating, I'll get it as equals to pi 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 r by two because this will get cancelled. Two ones are two twos are. So here I'll have the answer as pi r by two. So r p r is equals to pi r by two. Okay. Again, I'm putting this thing in a box. So after getting the value of this r p r s pi r by two, we'll see that by proportional Lady, by proportionality theorem, okay, angle P O Q, an angle P O R. Now look here in a figure. Angle P O Q, an angle P O R, okay, which is equals to R. See you. This. For this angle, uh, P O Q, the arc is P Q, and for this angle, let us P O R, the arc is P R. So you are on arc P R. Okay. So by proportionality theorem, we are getting angle P O Q by P O R equals to arc P Q by arc P R. So. Let's do the cross multiplication over here. I'm shifting this denominator on this right hand side, so it will get multiplied. So it will be angle P O Q equals to R P Q by R P R into angle P O R because we are shifting this denominator on right hand side, so it will get multiplied over here. Okay. Now, this angle P O Q is nothing but one radian, which is equals to the length of this arc P Q is R. Okay, so I'll substitute the value here. An angle P R, this arc P R is nothing but Pi r by two from you, correct? So if you want, you can mark this as one, then this as two, and this as equation number three. See you. I have marked this as r p q equals to r as equation one. Angle p o r equals to ninety as an equation number two, and r p r as an equation number. So I have just substituted the value of R P Q equals to R from equation one zero, and then R P R equals to pi R by two from equation three, and angle P O R which is ninety degree, correct? Which is equals to ninety degree. You can see or you can say your right angle. Okay. Now I'll write a reason. From one, two, and three. Okay, so your this is equals to two by pi into ninety degree. Now look here. Your this R R is getting cancelled. This two. Will shift at numerator, so answer is two pi into nine. Okay, so here we can see that one radian is equals to 
टू बाई फाइव इन टू नाइन्टी डिग्री बट दिस इज ऑन नथिंग बट अ कॉन्स्टेंट मा सो यो वन रेडियन इज इक्वल्स टू कॉन्स्टेंट ना इज दिस क्लियर ओके थैंक यू सो मच